Hello, Jim Babies. We're talking about love in your weekend reading. And um, for those of you that don't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Adrian. I'm an intuitive healer. I practice holistic wellness. And um, I've got a reading for you every week. And this is an addition to that reading. So this is your weekend reading. And we are talking about love. Love, 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 love. All right. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. That is good news. It starts off really well. And if you're one of my beautiful supporters that, you know, like, follow, subscribe, share, comment. Thank you so much. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. And um, yeah, let's let's be family. <laughs> All right. Oh, cards are just jumping. Cards are just jumping. That one came out first. So let's put it like that. And we're going to get you one more card. If you're interested, interested in spiritual regression hypnosis, you can have a look at my um, profile below in the comments. There is a link to my spiritual regression hypnosis profile for online sessions. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to look at your cards and then we're going to finish off with an oracle card. So even though we are looking at your tarot cards for love, we're going to look at the oracle card for your overall energy for life because your overall energy of life impacts everything. All right. Including love. So we're focusing exclusively on love, but we want to know how all the other aspects are affecting that as well. Because if you don't know, you kind of set yourself up for you know, a 50% information over there. So let's look until the end of the video where I'll draw that for you. But for now, we've got the Two of Cups for you. So that's good news. And then Temperance in reverse. So we need to talk about that because that's an area of concern. The Queen of Pentacles, definitely an area of concern. And the Eight of Swords. All right. So with the Two of Cups, new connection, beautiful connection, new, beautiful butterflies you know the birds are chirping more melodiously and the sun is shining brighter and the wind is a little bit more gentle against your skin beautiful all right beautiful 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 and i feel that your hearts are just smiling you know and your your soul is sort of doing the macarena over there it's it's, it's amazing but then kaboof then you are reminded of the times in the past, there were temperance in reverse, the times in the past when you did give your heart, when you did open your heart, when you did take the chance, when you did step forward, and it was a bit of a crash boom bang situation. So uh, it's almost like so many of you are, you are seeing, you are liking, you are opening your heart. I feel that it might have taken a while for you, might have gotten you a bit unawares, but for many of you, it took you a while to sort of, you know, open your heart to this possibility. Some of you haven't even spoken to this person yet, you know, and I feel that many of you, you're kind of like checking somebody out, you're like sussing them out, and you kind of like what you see, but you're very nervous about it, and you are very sort of, um, I wanna, but it's, I'm just gonna call it what it is, Gemini. You are overthinking. You are really overthinking this thing. You are overthinking it to the max, all right? You are seeing scenarios that are probably never gonna happen. And you wanna be very careful of that because now remember, in this energy of love, when it comes to love, we take love very, very seriously, okay? And so the, the attention that we give to the situation, whether we feel it will work out or won't work out, the amount of energy that we give to it, it's a lot. It's powerful. You know, it's like a, it's like a hurricane of emotions. And because there is all that energy that you give into the situation, <clears throat> sorry, so it started off with like, mm -hmm, this can work. Like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel that many of you are doubting yourself. And the funny thing is that I feel that the other person, when they look at you, you know, you may kind of feel, I'm sorry, my apologies. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Oh, my goodness. Bless me and bless you. By the way. When I have three sneezes, for me, that generally signifies that some sort of energy that doesn't suit you well is actually working out. But it has to be three, all right? Um, I've never actually told anybody that on my channel before, so you're all the first. Um, so bless me and bless you and bless your connection. All right. Um, so I feel that for some of you, 
you're sort of playing the cat and mouse game now and you are feeling that they are like this other person you know they are not you know it's almost like you're throwing out in in your mind you're throwing out the bait and you're not sure if they're catching the bait or not i feel that they really respect you and they don't want to sort of like give the impression that they you know that they I know it sounds very crude when I say it like this, but they don't want you to get the impression that they just want you for your body and not for your um, personality and for, you know, the beautiful inside that you are. So there is there is a reason why it, it could almost feel like you're throwing out the bait and it seems like they're kind of biting it, but they're also kind of not biting it. Uh, the two of you are sort of communicating past each other here because even though you might feel that you're throwing in the bait you you you're not really throwing in the bait bait you know because um you don't want to look cheap okay so you're not really throwing in the bait you just sort of it's almost like when you're fishing instead of completely putting the bait in the water it's sort of like bobbing just on the surface of the water and so the fish is going like hmm do you want to catch me or don't you want to catch me that's sort of what's going on over here okay um and that is that overthinking in your mind that is really being this about because you're very afraid of being hurt um also there may have there, there's been something to do with finances here in some previous um relationship with queen of pentacles there in reverse i feel that either you or your you know your your amigos or whatever Somehow there was there was money here, a loss of money, discrepancies here that caused a lot of disharmony. And so they were eight of swords, you in this you in this vortex of really can't decide what to do right now. You know, you're very concerned actually. You can't decide because you I feel that you you already know that you want to go for this. All right, but you also don't want to get hurt again. So you're playing the sort of cat and mouse game, cat and mouse game, cat and mouse game. But I'm just going to tell you very straight where you might be feeling that the other person might be too sort of busy or things like that for you, um, you know, or might even not be interested in you. I think they find you highly attractive and they might even respect you more than you might imagine. And they're actually scared of, um, of scaring you away. So you're going to have to really... Um, use that beautiful smile of yours that you've got and you know the twinkling sort of thing that you've got in your eye that natural um, attracting thing that Gemini is just sort of born with and you're gonna have to tell them how you feel you know you're gonna have to tell them how you feel because I feel that it's not gonna come from them because they they scared of, of scaring you away of overwhelming you away all right Cool. So let's look at your overall life energy. That one went right out flying there. So we're going to have a look at that. If you want to, if you look at my thumbnails, they're so sexy. They're so beautiful. Um, and if you are interested in getting any sort of graphic design work done or social media management, if you look down below in my, um, in the description, in the comments below, description, sorry, um, you'll see it says AC Digital Marketing Solutions. Um, they do all my work for me. And I mean, as you can see, my stuff looks fly. <laughs> Okay, um, coming apart. Okay, so um, my gem baby says this situation is not the same as the previous situation. This is something very different. This is something brand new. Okay, and you're sort of having this overall in your life. And some of you might be feeling very overwhelmed right now because there's so much happening, and you're not actually sure if you even want to open yourself to this love. Because what if you're so busy that you don't get time? I feel that your person will actually understand. Okay, so thank you for your time, energy, love and light. Look out for your reading that's coming out later this week. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you're more than welcome to do so for your weekly readings. Hit that notification bell so that you know when your reading comes out. On the love and respect.